from San Cristobal here in the Dominican Republic. It's Estadio Panamerico and it's match number two of the day here in Group F. It's St. Kitts and Nevis and Haiti. Excited for this matchup today, the second matchup of the day as we take a look at the pitch conditions. 77 degrees, 61% humidity, and nine mile per hour wind. We should get an interesting matchup here today, of course, as Haiti is trying to draw even on points with Trinidad and Tobago at the top of this Group F standings, while St. Kitts and Nevis looking for their first result of this competition. It should be an uphill battle for St. Kitts and Nevis, but we'll see what they can bring here today against this Haitian side that looked very potent in the attack on Sunday. So we're building up to first kick. It's Haiti and it's St. Kitts and Nevis from San Cristobal.
We're building up to first kick here from San Cristobal in Group F. It's Haiti and it's St. Kitts and Nevis. Let's take a look at the St. Kitts and Nevis starting 11 from Coach Oren Huges. Two changes to the lineup, including one in goal. Quinn Josiah is out. Crivesia Sutton is in. We saw that change in the second half of the match on Sunday. So that is the main change for St. Kitts and Nevis. We take a look at the referees for the match today. Caritza Guerra will be in the middle from Honduras. Jennifer, Jennifer Gardner from the United States. And Crystal Delancey Evans from the Bahamas. The fourth official from Guatemala. So that is our crew here today. And we'll ch take charge of this Group F match between St. Kitts and Nevis and Haiti. We'll take a look at the lineup for Haiti today. Five changes for Coach Laurent Mortel and the one to watch, Melchi Dumornay, scoring two goals in the match on Sunday. Florzy Joseph also with the brace. So plenty of goal scoring power on this team here today and I'm sure we will see a little bit more of that as this match rolls along. Melchie Dumornay though definitely one to watch for the Haitian side. She is the captain and on the other side for St. Kitts and Emma's Christiane Mills will wear the captain's armband. So take a look at the substitutions here for this match today. Quinn Josiah, as we mentioned, will come off the bench in goal. But on the other side for Haiti, it was Ornice with two goals in the match on Sunday. Supris also had a goal. And there's more power, power on the bench for this Haiti lineup. And they're just getting set to take to the field here today. We're just about set to go. This Haiti side, a dominating performance in their last match. St. Kitts and Nevis will be in their red kits. It will be Haiti in their blue kits. A nice clash of colors. We're going to close out the day from Estadio Panamerico in San Cristobal, Dominican Republic. Just waiting on the whistle of Caritza Guerra from Honduras. We will get this match underway. Match day number two here in Group F. Already one match in the books today with Trinidad and Tobago taking down the Cayman Islands 2 0. Just waiting for the top of the hour. Diferente a lo que tienen en la banca, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh, ¿Dorado? No. No, verde. Naranja. Verde. 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 There's the opening whistle underway this afternoon from San Cristobal. It's St. Kitts and Nevis going left to right. Haiti going right to left. It didn't take long for Haiti to score a goal on Sunday against the Cayman Islands. Just four minutes before Melchi Dumornay found the back of the net. And that was really a dominating performance for Haiti. An 8 0 win over the Cayman Islands. And here they go, already into the attack. Trying to turn the corner. There was Louis, and she was denied. And we'll see more of this pressure put on by Haiti throughout this match, especially in the early going. And already a throw in one here by Haiti. Many of these players for the Haitian side just competed at the CONCACAF Olympic qualifiers, including Melchie Dumernay, who actually scored a goal in the 6-0 win against Panama. So a very experienced player at just 16 years old, Melchie Dumournay. 
also scored a goal in this competition in 2018 at just 14. Well, a nice track record for Hades number 10. And this ball ahead for Dumornay, trying to get around the keeper, but Sutton came out of the goal and was able to deny her, and now it's just put out for a throw-in. Ivesia Sutton could be very, very busy today. Maybe now trying to work it down the right. On the overlap, cross comes in. And it's behind and out for a goal kick. And some of the fans thought that might have gone in. Would have been quite a goal at that. Diana Pierre with the cross coming in. Decent crowd on hand for this match as well with, of course, the island split down the middle between the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Giveaway by Dumornay, but immediately won back. There were five changes coming into this match for Haiti, just trying to rotate and put some new players some time on the field. Joseph, a drive across the box is out for a goal kick. Expect a lot of one-way traffic in this match. With Haiti being the group favorite. They beat Canada in the third place game in 2018 to qualify for the first ever for their first ever under 20 World Cup. They did go 0-3, however, in that competition. If they can qualify this year. In the story, it would be two straight for Haiti. And of course, with the new format this year, they have to win one of the semifinals if they get to the knockout stage. Here's Joseph, putting it back for Dumornay. He couldn't quite get clean contact on it. Now it's Louis. Louis tracking back. Not able to keep this one in play. A throw in now for St. Kitts and Nevis. Taking it away. Maybe quick to win the ball back whenever they concede possession. There's Dumornay. She gets it right back. And pushed off the ball, and maybe St. Kitts and Nevis can look upfield. Trying to keep it in play is Moreel, and she will do that. Pressure at the back. Now a throw in for St. Kitts and Nevis. They got into this competition because they won their group in a preliminary tournament. And now maybe something on here for St. Kitts and Nevis. Going down with Zonia Marshall. And Haiti will play out from the back now. And it's Louis. Louis using her speed. Still going is Louis, now cutting it back. Couldn't quite find the centering pass and it's taken away. Bailey Williams plays the line for Claxton. And it's St. Cyr who has to put it out of play. And St. Kitts and Evans, they won their group in the preliminary phase to take the place of Costa Rica and Panama who are co-hosting the World Cup later this year. They got first place in Group B, getting 12 points out of a possible 12, winning all four of their matches. They only conceded two goals, but 
They gave up six in their first match here in this competition for Trinidad and Tobago on Sunday. Joseph still coming forward. Dorce was in an offside position. Trying to play it wide, they'll keep this in play. Joseph trying to turn the corner. Goes right in the path for Dorse. And now it's knocked out of play. Get it in. Pierre trying to keep this one alive. Both going to ground. And a throw for St. Kitts and Nevis. And another foul give him a free kick. And we've seen this now with a few teams when it comes to the second match. Things don't always go as smooth they did in the first. Maybe tired legs. Teams have gotten their legs underneath them. We saw yesterday Canada was held scoreless by Guatemala. Probably the favorite in that group. We saw earlier today Trinidad and Tobago after scoring just a ton of goals. Six to be exact in the win against St. Kitts and Nevis on Sunday. They were held scoreless for about 78 minutes before they finally were able to put two in the back of the net. Goal kick here for Christian Mills. Ball to flex out of play. A throw in now for Haiti. Now a throw in. Focal point of this Haitian attack all goes through Melchie Dumornay. Number 10 for Haiti. And she is on the ball. Playing it wide for Florzy Joseph. Pierre. For Dumornay. Her cross. This one is knocked out of play, and it looks like a corner kick upcoming for Haiti. Dumornay so dangerous when she gets on the ball. And showing it right there. Looks like it took a deflection there. She was trying to just put it across the six. Ruthie Mathurin now will send this in. A corner kick for Haiti. And an in-swinger on that far corner flag. Coming in, Smith in the air and cleared away. And Kayla Smith. De Mornay, and this falls nicely, and a kick save and a beauty. Trivisia Sutton denies Haiti on the doorstep. 
And now St. Kitts and Nevis trying to come back the other way. And a foul right at midfield. What an opportunity that was for Mirlin Dorse and Haiti just moments ago. And Vesia Sutton, she can use her hands, but decided to just kick it away. A great reaction save for St. Kitts and Nevis. Keeps it scoreless, at least for now. St. Kitts and Nevis trying to look forward. And now, we'll have to send it back. I feel like the best chances in this match for St. Kitts and Nevis will not be through building through the midfield. It'll probably be through quick counterattacks. Trying to catch Haiti out. Joseph goes down. Out of play again for a Haiti throw-in. You can see some of the Haitian fans in the Stadio Panamericano today. <laughs> Dumornay. Wide for Joseph, options in the middle. Knocked away, and a clearance is missed by Stapleton and out for another Haiti corner. The pressure ratcheting up here on this St. Kitts and Nevis back line. On an in-swinger, Sutton tried to punch that away. It's still in for Haiti, and it's just wide on the shot there from the penalty spot. Corsi Joseph was just waiting there. He couldn't direct the shot on frame. And now another goal kick for St. Kitts and Nevis. Immediately won back by Haiti. Pierre goes down. Dorse still trying to track it down. Here's Joseph with Louis in the middle. Across coming. A two-handed catch and going down to the ground to secure it is Carvicia Sutton. Look at it here. Really no angle at all. Just tried to put it in front of goal. Hope for a rebound. throw in here for Haiti as we're through the first quarter of an hour already plenty of opportunities for Haiti just a matter of time you feel like before they put one in the back of the net here's Dumornay Etienne that name sounds familiar it is father Played for Haiti, played in the United States. Brother Derek Etienne Jr. also playing in MLS currently. And Danielle Etienne at Fordham University in the Bronx, New York. Ball play down the line. Here's Louis. One time cross in the middle. Pierre is there going down. No call. The shot is blocked. Pierre is still down in the box. She slowly gets back to her feet. And already Haiti back into the attack. 
and a weave through defenders. There's Mathurin. And now it's one back by Muriel. And now Etienne. Strong on the ball. And then fouled. And Zunia Marshall came over. Another look at this. Louis with the cross. Too heavy of a first touch there by Pierre and Tritancia Stapleton took her down and now a player down for St. Kitts and Nevis. That looks to be Venetia Batiste. Another look at that challenge in the box. And you'd be the judge and or that could have been a penalty. I think a good no call though in the end. Good hard challenge. A bit of a hydration break here in the meantime. Each time a girl joins football, the world takes a strike towards equality. If you empower a girl, you empower a community to fight for their dreams. CONCACAF W, we belong. Just about ready to go again after the injury break. We'll see if Alicia Batiste can continue. Back underway. Haiti still pushing forward for an opening goal. Good penetrating ball. Here's Louis trying to cut it back across. Louis, this time right at Sutton. Down to two knees to bring this one in. Before St. Kitts and Nevis can even get a touch on the ball. Already won back by Haiti. Stoppage in play. So Florzy Joseph was shaken up there. But okay to continue on. Look at it here. Got an arm kind of to the side of the head there. She looks like she's okay. Dumornay. In the path of Pierre. Tracking over was Williams. He wanted back for the moment for St. Kitts and Nevis. Before you can finish that. Haiti into the attack. Going down in the box, and that's a penalty. Dorsey goes down. Crivicia Sutton came off her line. And a big collision in the box. And it will be a penalty for Haiti. Another look at it here. It took the shot, or at least a touch, around the goalkeeper. A pretty easy call there for the referee, Karit Seguera. I'd expect it to be Melchie Dumornay who buried an 86th minute penalty just the other day. Apparently Dorsey being attended to. Dumornay asking for the ball. And she will be the one to step up to take this. 
See if Carvisia Sutton can deny her from the spot. See if Haiti can open the scoring here. Melchie Dumornay steps up and gives Haiti the lead. A clinical finish for Melchie Dumornay. Puts it right in the corner. And Haiti, here in the 22nd minute, a 1 0 advantage over St. Kitts and Nevis. Melchie Dumornay opens the scoring for Haiti. Took maybe a little bit longer than they may have expected, but you knew it was coming. Navicia Sutton just couldn't get down with the pace on that shot, but maybe something here for St. Kitts and Nevis as they try to answer back. A big save by Ambrose. Right off the kickoff, we saw that with the Cayman Islands earlier. They nearly scored from an opening kickoff. And St. Kitts and Nevis nearly do the same, forcing Ambrose into a huge save. Now back the other way, Louis. And it's knocked away by Glenicia Bet Batiste. Starting to come to life here in San Cristobal. As we're past the midway point of the first half. I'm going to look at the penalty right into the camera. Nice move by Flozy Joseph. Pierre. Gets it right back on the give and go. Pierre into the box. Has to be knocked out of play by Kalia Smith. An in-swinger coming in towards the back post. Sutton came off her line. Luckily for her, that was not directed towards goal. Matherin. Dumornay will track this down, directing traffic as she approaches the ball. All the way through. Etienne at the top of the box, trying to cut it back. And she was fouled. A free kick just outside the box. Upcoming for Haiti. Zonia Marshall commits the foul. And Mitsugara tells her no more. Pretty easy call there for Guerra. So Etienne wins the free kick. I'd expect Melchie Dumornay to stand over this one as well. Ruthney Mathurin also standing there. Dumornay or Mathurin, who will it be? Lee Mathurin going for goal and a good save. Trivisia Sutton able to knock it over the crossbar. Getting over just in time. The score remains at 1-0. 
Quickly taken here. A shot on goal and it just goes wide. Really starting to pick up. Atherine with another opportunity. And right now it's still Haiti holding on to that one nil advantage and looking for more. Pierre. Through ball here for Louise. She cuts it back across. Falls all the way through for Joseph. And cleared out of there by Bailey Williams. Another look at the save. Just able to get her left hand on it. Good look at it there. He's curling away from Sutton. Pretty big moment there for the goalkeeper. It's taken short. Doris who won the penalty. Has it at the top of the box. Dumornay plays it wide. And sends in again. And again. Pierre the shot. Finally cleared out a little bit farther. Etienne keeps it in. Louis. And a good challenge coming in from Jasana Williams. Puts it out for another corner kick. Sub already coming in here for St. Kitts and Nevis. Terencia Jeffers will come on. And Cara Williams will make way. And here in the 29th minute, a substitution. This ball whipped in, but right into the side netting. Here is our first half hydration break. Of course, a warm day in the Dominican Republic. And it reaches a certain heat index. These are put in play for the safety of the players. Chance for them to cool down. About 16 minutes to go, plus stoppage time until we get to halftime. Another look at the penalty. Dorse going down. Pretty easy call. Dumornay steps up. Cool as you like. An easy finish there. And that is where we stand here at 1 0, but you just feel like more goals are coming. Kitts and Evis, they're hanging in there. They nearly scored a goal after the restart from the goal. We are just about set to go again. And now she do Renee in the 22nd minute with the penalty. It's her third goal on the tournament. Ready to go again. Stoppage time will be added on here at the end. Ball played over the top. Joseph 
Brings it down for Dorse. Shot is blocked. Pierre on the follow. And fires it home to double Haiti's lead. Very well taken by Diana Pierre. And here in the 32nd minute, it's now St. Kitts and Nevis nil in Haiti 2. Another look at it here. Doris had the shot blocked. It fell kindly to Pierre and on the volley. Just fires it into the corner. Nothing Sutton could do. And already, Haiti back into the attack and this one will fall for Sutton. And they just feel like the goals could just keep on coming today. And to catch the goalkeeper off her line. Sutton with an easy catch. Louis tracks back and wins it back. Etienne sends it forward. Louis with Dorse in the middle. Louis still going. And she goes down in the box. Just a good hard play. And St. Kitts and Nevis knock it out of play. Now it's wide, the cross coming in. Kind of a weird hop, but Sutton was able to get there. You all right? Keep on, you all right? She is still down. Bit of a hard fall there for Travisia Sutton. Drop ball to put this back in play. And Sutton will continue on here. Marshall plays it down the left. A free runner on the near side. Here's Claxton trying a long shot that will sail wide. Right down the right, Louis running three in the middle. Joseph for Louis, trying to make it three, and she does. Louis makes it three for Haiti. And the goal's really starting to be poured in now for the team in blue today. Three different goal scorers. And a really nice move here by Haiti. Joseph with the assist. And Louis just slots it by Sutton. A long day it could be here on this final hour plus for Haiti. Pierre. Yeah. 
Ball played down the right. Here comes Haiti again. Looking for Dorse in the middle. Cleared away. Mathereen teeing it up. Just a little bit too tall. Goal kick for Carvisius Sutton. One touch for St. Kitts and Nevis, and then Haiti get it right back. Three more night, feeling some pressure. He gets it right back. So smooth on the ball for Haiti. Louis, here's Pierre, Dumournay. Coming together there, the play continuing. Foot race for it, and it will be won by Mathurin. Sent back for Ambrose. Now Louis, darting down the left again. Louis, a cheeky move to get free. Centers it for Joseph, the shot is blocked. Etienne will keep it in play. Still Etienne. Etienne. The cross. The switch of play now for Louis. Still going. She's brought down. Play continuing. Bana Louis really showing off down the left. Pierre was thinking about it, I believe. Decided to hold back. Mathurin. Joseph nods it away to keep possession. Now Pierre. For Dumornay. Back for Pierre, who stayed on side. She makes it 4-0 to Haiti. This beautiful team football there by Haiti. They're giving go. And Haiti making it look easy today. A second goal for Diana Pierre here in the 40th minute. Flag stayed down. He was able to slot it home. St. Kitts and Nevis thought she might have slid into an offside position. That wasn't the case. For a second straight game, St. Kitts and Nevis might get run off the field. Pierre again. It's played wide. All of a sudden, the goal scoring opportunities sparking up everywhere. Dorse makes it five. Got a minute apart. They're dancing about it. Nerlin Dorse here in the 41st minute, her first goal of the competition. Diana Pierre now up to three goals in total, but here's another look at this one. It fell kindly for her. She took it nicely. Didn't play the other day, but taking her opportunity here today to show off.
Missed kick there on the far side. And out for a Haiti throwing. So no goals in the opening 22 minutes, but in the last about 20, there's been all five. It all started with the penalty from Melchi Dumornay. It was taken away by St. Kitts and Nevis. Tried to just send it upfield, but too heavy. And Ambrose. Louis. Etienne keeps it alive. Here's Joseph. Sending it down the right. Florzy Joseph was offside. And the pass coming in from Asterico of Joseph. Haiti really making a statement through their first two matches. Already 13 goals through not even two games. Dorsey Joseph pressured by Bennett. Dumournay, send it towards goal, and Sutton makes the catch. See what Haiti can do here in the last few minutes before halftime. Dorse was in an offside position. A good ball, though, played in from this near side. I believe that was Louis. Curling it around the defender and right into the path of the oncoming attacker. player down here or struggling for a moment as Haney just kept on playing. Here's Doris. Her cross is blocked. Looks like a goal kick will be awarded now to St. Kitts and Nevis. kick here for St. Kitts and Nevis. As we get into first half stoppage time, it'll be two minutes added on. There's Louis, loses out. a foul on the far side. A free kick to St. Kitts and Nevis. <laughs> Megan St. Cyr fouling Kaylee Bennett. And a player down here for Haiti. Wants to be Dorse. Looks to be in some pain. There's a look at her goal. 
Maybe Sutton getting a slight fingertip to that, but not enough to keep it out. And they're asking for a substitution. Looks like the end of the day for Doris. Will be helped onto the stretcher. We'll see who comes on to replace her. A good match from Mirlene Dorse. You can see the trainer giving the sign that she will have to end her day right here. She gets taken off, and we'll see if Haiti decided to put somebody on right away. We'll wait until the second half. Back in play here by St. Kitts and Nevis. Well past the minimum of two minutes because of that injury, so I'm sure we'll get a little bit longer. Or not. That is the end of the first 45 minutes. No goals in the first 22 minutes, but then five came in the next 19. 45 minutes down, 45 to go at St. Kitts and Nevis nil and Haiti five. Highlights from this first 45 minutes between St. Kitts and Nevis and Haiti. And it was a dominating first 45 minutes for Haiti. Took them a little bit to get going, but when the goals started, they really started coming. That was a highlight of the first half though for St. Kitts and Nevis. Sutton with a big save, but then she would play a part in the penalty that would lead to Melchie Dumornay slotting home the first goal of the first half for Haiti. Her third goal of the tournament. And a very well taken penalty there by Nelsie Dumornay. And then a good save by Sutton in goal. Would keep the match at 1-1. Just a few minutes later, Dorse would have her first shot blocked. And then Diana Pierre would follow it up. That would be the first of two goals for her. Taking her to now three goals in the competition so far through a match and a half. Louis would also get on the goal scoring action. Good cross coming in from Florzy Joseph and an easy finish for Louis in the 18 yard box. And the crowd loving it, coming over from Haiti. And then Pierre with a brace, Dumornay with a great through ball. He's been quite the distributor today for Haiti. So plenty of goals in the first 45 minutes for the fans to celebrate, and here was one more. Balls for Dorse. And she was able to put it in the back of the net to make it 5-0 to Haiti. And that is where we stand after 45 minutes. 
No goals for St. Kitts and Nevis, but five for Haiti. We take a look at the stats from that first half. Everything in favor of Haiti. No shots recorded for St. Kitts and Nevis. It's definitely an uphill battle for them, but trying to battle in the second half. So it's still halftime here from San Cristobal. Back for the second half very shortly.
Back here at Estadio Panamericano in San Cristobal, the second half between Haiti and St. Kitts and Nevis. And right away, it will be a substitution. It will be 18 coming on Rosalia Marcellus. And coming off is Mirlene Doris, who we, who we saw go down and get taken off on the stretcher. They're in the first half, but we are underway here in the second 45 minutes. St. Kitts and Nevis and Haiti. So Rosalia Marcellus making her first appearance here in the CONCACAF Women's Under-20 Championship, and this one is missed. Sutton went right through her hands. And just like that, Louis has another goal, and it's 6-0 to Haiti. A 36th minute goal and a 46th minute goal for Abenia Louis. And just about 20 seconds after the start of this second half, Haiti have already added to their total. Just right through the hands of Crivesia Sutton, who had with all things considered, played a fairly decent game so far. A nice few saves in the first half, one on a free kick, one on a point blank opportunity. But that one is, well, is probably going to bother her a little bit more as this game rolls on. And now you just wonder how many more goals do Haiti have in them today? Here's Etienne. Right down the wing, Marcellus. Cross coming in a little bit too tall. Here for Joseph in the middle. It's knocked out of play. Another cross comes in. It's off the hands of Sutton and knocked out of play. And the sun is a little bit of an issue. You can see the shadows. But Sutton, when she looks over to her right and the attacking team's left, the sun is right in her eyes. I wonder if that is causing an issue. St. Kitts and Nevis look to come out on the counterattack. And they try to pull one back. And the flag looks like is going to go up. Flaxton left a little bit too early. Played forward. Marcellus, her cross is blocked. Marcellus again, trying to send one in. And now this one is knocked out anyway there off Louis, but I think offside is the official call. Once more, Etienne. Yeah. So far, the most goals scored in the match in this tournament is nine, that was by the United States. And they took down Cuba. The United States has many double digit goal performances in this competition. Luis sends it in, Pierre is there, and it's just a little bit high, and it goes out of play. 
again, Diana Pierre, a good first half for her with two goals in the 32nd and the 40th minutes. Right, and St. Kitts and Nevis trying to do anything. There's a player in a blue jersey that are just take it right back for Haiti. Joseph. The cross comes in. He's missed it first. And then Yania Bailey Williams was there to clear it away. Marcellus. Slips it in for Florzy Joseph. Her cross off the right post, and this one will roll out of play. And on the goal kick. Kits and Nevis trying to come forward. Claxton's up ahead. It's played down the right. Ambrose coming in off her line. Judas knocked this out of play. He's into the path of Drencia Jeffers there. A battle for it there on the Right side of the attack for St. Kitts and Nevis. And Haiti come away with it. Trying to turn is Dumornay. All the way to the end line, going down in the box is Louis. It looks like a corner kick will be awarded. Another look at it here. Is Louis getting pushed down by Kalia Smith? They're saying Smith got the last touch, and yeah, it will be a corner kick. And two more A, I think wanted. Well, that was that was a little cheeky right there by Haiti, as it was Dumornay walking away from that penalty, but she had touched the ball after it was already set down. She, she, she touches it like that, and then Matherine comes over to take it. Sutton now drops the ball in the box. It's still there, now finally cleared. It's almost like the hidden ball trick in baseball where you just do something so subtle, just trying to fool the opponent. But I don't think Katie needed to do anything tricky at this point, up 6-0. And the Wii goes down. She did commit the foul. It's taken there by Ambrose. And there are the goal scoring tallies here in this game for Haiti. Danny Pierre, Abena Louis with two goals apiece. Hugh Mornay with the penalty, and Dorse also getting her name on the score sheet today. Played in the path of Florzy Joseph. Now Louis trying to turn the corner. Comes all the way through for Marcellus on her left foot. It's blocked. 
She brings it down again and slots it home. And a halftime substitute, Rosalia Marcellus. That's her first goal of the competition. That one in the 55th minute. And the goals just keep on coming. Now Haiti seven in St. Kitts and Nevis nil. There's another look at it. The first one was blocked. The second one was not. It was the captain Christian Mills getting in the way of that one. Sutton had tracked all the way over. The shot then going through the legs of another St. Kitts and Nevis player. Played wide, Claxton's in the middle. Coming off her line, those Ambrose. It's quickly put back into play here by Haiti. All played over the top. Here's Florzy Joseph. Marcellus for Florzy Joseph. Another cross into the middle. Mills there to clear it out. And turning back upfield, it's Matherin. Louis, a burst of speed. Dumornay. Etienne. Still Etienne, trying to tee up a shot. Instead, to find Marcellus. Takes another shot on this one, deflected out of play. You can't see a Stapleton getting in the way. Another corner kick upcoming for Haiti. St. Kitts and Nevis just trying to hang in there. Another player down here for St. Kitts and Nevis. Asking for the trainers to come on. One sub has been used by either side. Dorencia Jeffers, who was down. She came on in the 29th minute for Cara Williams. And a substitution will be needed. And her race is run. See if we get the sub now or after the corner kick. Okay, coach. There's another look at what may have happened. Played here to Pierre. Pierre into the middle. Louis trying to keep it in. St. Kitts and Evis trying to get out on the counter here. Claxton's on side. Ambrose coming off her line and is there to clear it away. A good pass into the path of Dumornay. This one put out of play. And we will get 
the substitution here. Hadassah St. Juice to come on. We're in the 60th minute, right on the hour mark. And Terencia Jeffers can only make it about a half hour in this match. And she was taken off due to injury. So two subs now used by St. Kitts and Nevis, and just the one for Haiti. Balls played wide. Dorsey Joseph was in the middle. Etienne has been trying to tee up a shot all day long, but he's had to find an avenue to do so. Dumornay moving without the ball. And Marshall takes it back, at least for the moment for Haiti. And pardon me, for St. Kitts and Nevis. Rosie Joseph ducking under a defender in the middle. Falls through for Louis. And Joseph was in an offside position. She kind of came out of nowhere. A flag up here on the near side. That was nearly number eight for Haiti. Throw it now for St. Kitts and Nevis. Ball played down the left. Louis is there. A couple of options in the middle. On the volley again. This one might have taken a deflection. Looks like it'll be a goal kick. But a sub here for Haiti. It's Matherin to come off. And Flero Supris is going to come on and it'll be a double substitution here. Along with Rose Pierline France to come on. While Dumornay will come out. So Matherine and Dumornay out. Flero Supris and Rose Pierline France to come on. France and Supris enter the fray here for Haiti. And Supris scoring a goal on Sunday against the Cayman Islands. He came on in the 70th minute as a sub, scored in the 89th. Corner kick taken. Etienne brings it down. With this game well in hand for Haiti. Laurent Mortel using all of his subs pretty early on to try to get some fresh legs out there and to give some of his usual starters a bit of a rest. Ball played in, falls nicely for Florzy Joseph, but her shot was deflected and it's out for another corner. Corner kick here for Haiti. Swung in and Sutton 
Hobbled it for a moment, but was able to bring it in cleanly. Seven nil to Haiti. Most recent goal by Marcellus in the 55th minute. Into the path of Louis. Couple of blue jerseys making runs into the middle. Still Louis. Player down behind the play for St. Kitts and Nevis. Here's Supris. Cross coming in, a great shot by Joseph. An even better save by Sutton. And out for a throw in. And an injured player now for St. Kitts and Nevis. They have one sub remaining. Another look at the cross and the shot. Injured player still down here for St. Kitts and Nevis. Another look at the injury there. All right. Benicia Batiste. Stretcher now coming on. We'll see if Batiste can continue. Social hour is broken out for the rest of her teammates. It's been a long day so far here for St. Kitts and Nevis. And they will have to use their third substitution here on Gnesia Batiste. And not be able to continue. Instructions being given to the St. Kitts and Nevis substitute as play gets back underway. The throw in now for Haiti. St. Kitts and Nevis coming forward with Kaylee Bennett. Into the middle, 
for St. Just. And now Haiti. About 20 minutes to go. Sent over the top. Sutton off her line. And she claims it at the top of the box. Headed out of play. It's a sub. Just about ready to go for St. Kitts and Nevis. And we will get it right now. Batiste coming off. Malika Roos will come on. She comes on here in the 71st minute. Actually, a throw in for St. Kitts and Nevis. Still going forward. Here comes Haiti. Cross coming in for Louis. Her shot might have taken a deflection. It's knocked away by Jan Lep, Bailey Williams. Now a throw in for St. Kitts and Nevis. Players colliding there at the back. Still nothing doing for St. Kitts and Nevis. Still looking for their first shot of the game. And this will be a foul against Haiti. This pier line France with the foul. Coming down Kaylee Bennett there. Yes. And into the box, flying off her line. There was Ambrose. Back the other way. <laughs> Settling in on the final quarter of an hour here from San Cristobal. Group F action earlier today was Trinidad and Tobago taking down the Cayman Islands. That was a 2-0 score line to Trinidad and Tobago. The teams came in equal to this match. Haiti and Trinidad and Tobago on goal differences. Looks like we'll get our hydration break. But obviously, Haiti has definitely ex extended their goal difference here today. Football knows no gender. Football knows tenacity. This is your open invitation to get off the sidelines, to get in the conversation. Hockey Gap W, we belong. So Haiti at the end of the day will be at the top of the standings in Group F. And remember, it's Group F that's paired up with Group D when it comes to the knockout stages.
Here's a look at the first goal of the second half. Louis sends it in and just right through the hands of Sutton. Not very happy with herself there. And then the second goal, Marcellus, first one blocked. Second one right through the legs of Stapleton and into the back of the net. Players getting back out onto the field, just about set to continue this second half. The final 15 minutes plus stoppage time. Marshall trying for the through ball, blocked away. Is that the end? Right down the line for Louis. Switch of play for Marcellus. One time cross. And Supriest will not be able to track this down into the corner. Goal kick here for Christiane Mills. Right into his path. Now taken back here by Haiti. Played wide for Marcellus. Her cross is deflected. And now St. Kitts and Evis look to carry it out. Here comes Marcellus again, hopping over the challenge of Stapleton. Still Marcellus and St. Kitts and Nevis come back the other way, or at least try to. Louis pushed off the ball. So 7 0 to Haiti as they are looking poised to really make a run in this competition. Two dominating performances so far. And they're still looking for more here today with just over 10 minutes to go. Got that 8-0 win on Sunday. I'm trying to find an eighth goal right now. Going down there was Supris. It looks like a free kick will be awarded here to Haiti. Another look at it. 
Just a big push in the back there by Kaylee Bennett. Maybe a little frust frustration coming out there with St. Kitts and Nevis player. Diana Pierre who's standing over this. Diana Pierre stands over it. This is right into the sun for the goalkeeper. Played in towards the penalty spot. Now it's cleared away. Long shot coming on, and this one going well wide. Out for a goal kick now for St. Kitts and Nevis. move to get around a defender by Pierre. Now the through ball looking for Marcellus. One time cross is blocked. She gets it back. Joseph the shot. On one bounce into the hands of Sutton. like this is going to be an indirect free kick now coming for Haiti. You don't see these all the time. And St. Kitts and Nevis, boy, it just continues to compile on them today. A very rare indirect free kick now being taken by Haiti. are always really interesting. Let's see what the decision is here for Haiti. She's explaining here to Supris, you have to touch it and then you can shoot it. All the players probably come, will come flying off the line, but here it goes, the indirect free kick. She taps it, and it's saved by Sutton. It was a good shot in the end by Diana Pierre. But saved by Sutton will keep it at 7-0 for Haiti. And the indirect free kick, and all the weirdness that comes with that, is averted here for St. Kitts and Nevis. Trying to stay on side and staying on side with Joseph. Her cross really spoiled by Sutton, but she's able to fall on it right at the penalty spot. And here's a look at it. All you have to do is touch it. That's exactly what Supriest did, and then it was the shot there by Pierre that was saved by Sutton. So all three subs have been used by both sides. And Haiti looking poised to move to first place here in this Group F. With more games in action tomorrow. And the other two groups will go at it. The, of course, all the Group C matches along with all of the Group E matches. Group C will feature the Dominican Republic against Cuba. The United States will face off against Honduras. 
Dominican Republic and Cuba still looking to solidify their places in the knockout stage of this competition, but they look poised to do so. And then it's in Group E. That'll be right here in San Cristobal. That's Jamaica and Canada level on four points. Guatemala with two points. And El Salvador is yet to get a result in this competition. Big challenge there as Bennett goes down. And a foul against Haiti. And they look at it here, Etienne is there in defense, but it was France committing the foul. player here for Haiti. The training staff on to attend to the injured player here for Haiti. All three subs have been used though, so Either Haiti will have to finish this match with 10 or he will have to continue. Being held back to her feet is Marcellus. She's coming on in the 46th, scoring in the 55th. She needs a look at what could be bothering her. She's walking off under her own power. Let's see if she can continue here in the final three minutes plus stoppage time. A lot of stoppages here in this second half. We'll see how much stoppage time we get based on the score line. Getting a little bit chippy on both sides. I'm sure St. Kitts and Nevis has been a tough one for them. Get it up in the air. The shot deflected around. I'm not sure if that'll register as a shot or not. Trying for the through ball to get it back to Claxton. It was Marshall who had her through ball blocked. And now here's Florzy Joseph. Out on the counter. Florzy Joseph for Louis, but she was in an offside position. Will this count? It will not. An offside flag is up. That ball needing to be played a little bit sooner there by Florzy Joseph. Louis had made the run. She had all the space. It was played a few seconds earlier. She tried to hold up her run, but Big collision there between Yanla Bailey Williams and Florzy Joseph. Give Bailey Williams credit for holding her run as well to then play Louis offside. Trying to squeeze it ahead there for Joseph. Still trying to go forward here is Haiti. Trying to find an eighth goal and match their total from the other day. Now into the final minute of regular time. St. Kitts and Evas nil, Haiti seven. Here's Marcellus. Marshall tracking over. Marcellus the cross and into the hands of Sutton.
right at the 90th minute here. And see how much stoppage time is awarded. There will be three minutes of stoppage time added on at the end of the 90 minutes today. Slipping there was Joseph, but it actually might work out in the end. Ahead for Marcellus. Louise in the middle. Etienne holding her run. The shot by Marcellus is blocked. And now here's Etienne getting into the attack. The shot coming on. It's spilled out in front of goal. Joseph, but another good save by Sutton. Playing hard until the very last moment is Carvisius Sutton. And Stapleton showing her appreciation for her goalkeeper as Supris had her shot pushed aside. The follow-up was then saved as well. Three minutes, though, of stoppage time. We're through a minute. And an injured player here for Haiti is Marcellus. Out for a corner kick. Haiti will take that corner kick. And it's short for Louis. And Haiti still pushing forward here. They know they have the result in their hands. Forward again, and this one will roll past the end line. And just one minute to go here in stoppage time. This Haiti team, it took them a little bit to get going in this match, but once they did, seven goals later, it showed just how tough of a team they will be in this competition when they get into the knockout stage. I think anybody will want to have to face them. All rolling past the end line. That's all Haiti has to do now is just put this back in play. This might be the final kick of the match. They look at the challenge coming in from Bennett. All eyes now on the referee. And there is the final whistle. All three points to Haiti. A dominating performance for the Haitians. A 7-0 victory today. The goals just kept on coming. And it finishes here in Group F. It's St. Kitts and Evis nil, and it's Haiti 7.
Highlights from this match between Haiti and St. Kitts and Nevis, and what a match it turned out to be. Just an absolute dominant performance by this Haitian side. There was the penalty in the first half. It was Dorsey going down. Sutton came out of her goal, and then Dumornay steps up and added to her goal total in this competition, her second penalty kick of the two games played so far, and she now has three goals in the two matches. So that was the first goal and made it 1-0, and they would just keep on coming here for Haiti in this match. And then a little bit later on, Dorsey would have her shot blocked. Diana Pierre just a rocket into that bottom left-hand corner. Nothing Sutton could do. And that was the first of a couple of goals for Diana Pierre. A great afternoon for her. And then Louis would get in on the act. The first of two goals for her as well. That one coming in the 36th minute. And then just a few minutes later, there would be another goal coming in the 40th minute. A great little give and go between Dumornay and Diana Pierre. Same corner, same result for Pierre. But then just moments later, I mean, this was right after that goal. And it was Dorse who came up with the big shot. Unfortunately, she had to come out a little bit after this, right at halftime, but at halftime it was 5-0 to Haiti, and there was really no doubt about the end result at that point, but of course, the second 45 minutes. And this is basically right off the opening kick. And it would be Louis going down the left, trying to just chip it in, and Sutton right through her hands and into the back of the net. Just an unfortunate goal given up by St. Kitts and Nevis. And later on, more of them would come for Haiti. Marcellus, first shot would be blocked, the second one would not. And that was the end of the scoring for Haiti. Seven goals, and they all came in a 33-minute span right in the middle from the 22nd minute, the first goal, to the 55th, which was the seventh goal. Here was the indirect free kick that was taken in the second half as well. And this chance there for Haiti, but in the end, a dominating 7-0 win. This one a pretty good save by Carvisia Sutton right at the end of proceedings as well. And that's how it ended in Haiti. You see their name at the top of the Group F standings. We'll take a look at the full-time stats from the game here today. Just completely dominated by Haiti. Just one shot, and it was on target for St. Kitts and Nevis, but 27 shots for Haiti and 60% of the possession. So we take a look at Group F. We're through two matches. It's Haiti and Trinidad and Tobago at the top. But that all-important match between the Cayman Islands and St. Kitts and Nevis will decide who goes through to the knockout stage while Haiti will take on Trinidad and Tobago for the top spot. That's going to do it today for Group F action from San Cristobal. For our entire crew, I'm Josh Eastern. So long from the Dominican Republic.